aware of that effort. What we knew was that the social studies supervisor contacted us and asked whether or not it would make, whether or not it makes sense, it was a good idea to show the film to middle school students. We, us, we thought that through and not being sure about the sensitivity of the film as in terms of how students would receive it, how they would be able to process it, we in turn contacted uh, the experts in the area. And, uh, and specifically, so we spoke to uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Khalil Gibran Mohammed, who was actually featured in the film. As, as a parent uh, here in our district, and also, uh, again, as someone featured in the film, we spoke to him. And we made a decision based on that conversation uh, that because of the importance of the film and the graphic and dis disturbing nature of some of the material, um, we would, in fact, show the film, but we would show it after school, giving, the pa giving parents the opportunity to join their children in that experience. And Dr. Muhammad has agreed to facilitate that experience, uh, which we believe will help to help students process the experience. Provides students with an opportunity to view and discuss the film in an age-appropriate way. It creates a large community dialogue, engages families in discussing the film together, and provides parents and guardians with tools to help their children process the strong images that they will see. So I want to make it clear that the teacher effort, which we were not aware of, which was most appreciated, but we were not aware of that the decision that central office made was unrelated uh, to that effort. That said, um, the fact that the teachers did that and then later saw that a decision was made by central office has, has created a certain amount of angst. And uh, towards that end, we, we certainly want to make, have our teachers understand that that was not, it was not our intent to slight them in any way. We, had not, we did not know at the time that we made our decision in central office. And we made the decision based on the fact that I just want to do it. We have, the district is engaging with the community, with the teachers, and just the, the overall process is there. So how does this work? I'm, I'm a board member, and I'm confused about it myself. So. OK, so let me, let me try to. What I knew at the time we made the decision and what I've learned since the time of the decision are two distinct things. So what I knew at the time that the decision was made to uh, show the film in unison as a community after school with parents, when that decision was made in conjunction with our local expert, that decision was made independent of any knowledge that there was a, that teachers had already determined that they were, they, they were going to show the film and that they were going to do it as a part of a win period, a uh, special, special club or class called Marginalized Voices. I didn't know that. Nor did I know that they had put a permission slip out that the parents either could sign off on or not. I didn't know that at that time, at the time we made the decision. The permission slip I, I, I saw today for the first time, in fact. And it suggests that it, it names a number of films that the parents were signing off on and agreeing to, to be viewed, including 13. And went on to say that the films were rated PG or PG-13. And um, uh, this particular film, 13, parenthetically, is, is, hasn't been rated. Um, I, although I, I, would, I would argue that the rating will probably be beyond PG-13 when it is rated because it is graphic. I had my own family, I watched it before, I had my own family watch it just yesterday uh, to get their opinion on whether or not middle school kids could, could watch this film. But here's the point. The point is that parents, given the nature of the film, parents should have the right to understand what the film is because not everyone who sees the word 13 knows what the film is, so they're taking our, our um, uh, 
recommendation, if you will, to some extent about that. And not obviously everyone has not seen it. Uh, and so we have a responsibility, obviously, to make sure that people understand what they're signing off on. That said, there was a parallel process in play. I was not aware of that process when I made my decision in conjunction with, with our staff at Central Office and our resident experts. It was based just on what I told you. The social studies supervisor contacted us. Can the teachers show the film in the middle school? We then contacted the, the resident expert. We processed it and made a decision. That's what we knew. I came to find out later that the teachers had gone through this process that I had known nothing about. Had I known, then we may have made a different decision or at least have engaged the teachers around that. Uh, since we're talking about it, I will tell you too that there was um, a concern on the part of the teachers that, particularly at Maplewood Middle School, that, there, that the decision-making process uh, might, have, might have been, or perhaps was, I don't know, uh, pushed by a parent brought issue, or took, took issue with the fact that we're showing the film. Now, I haven't, I haven't gone to the extent of reaching back into the middle school and saying, and asking, was there a particular parent, did this happen, or didn't that happen, because our decision has already been made that we're showing it after school. But I know there's a concern about that, and I know there's a concern that that push and the subsequent process that followed could have been racist in nature. Okay. That not the people involved, but the process could have been racist in nature. I'm just, we're talking about it, so I'm just putting it on the table. Yep. Okay. Um, because, because for me, there's nothing to hide here. Um, the, the, um, in fact, uh, the other day, I wrote about this in an effort not to denigrate, denigrate or deny or ignore the 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 the, um, the 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 delineation of what occurred that suggests that things went a particular way with a parent, etc. But rather to say, listen, here's what I knew as the superintendent. Here's what uh, you already read. One thing about how things went. Here's what the vice principal said happened. Here's what the central office administrator said happened. And by the way. At the end of the day, any professional that's involved in this process, I, that's all I can speak to, the professionals involved, whether they're teachers or administrators. At the end of the day, all those professionals had one thing at the core of their heart, decision making, and that was students. That I'm sure, whether it was the teacher who sent out the permission slip, or was the assistant superintendent, or was the vice president, that I'm sure that they had students at the core. And the other thing I'm sure of is this. Regardless to what happened, at the end of the day, the film is going to be shown. It's going to be shown after school so that parents can participate. And I think that is a healthier way to do it, given all the things I've explained so far. And I'm also sure that with all, the, with all the challenges facing our community, it's very important that we're careful to pull together, that we're careful not to get tripped up on the bad individual battles, else we risk losing the war. And the, for me, the work is the war. And it's much more important than these individual circumstances that, that, that may or may not be correct, but, but again, at the end of the day, how much energy are we going to spend, really, when the fact is that we've got mindset issues throughout the system, we've got, um, we've got a, a history that we're trying to overcome, and we've got people in place now, including this board, that's willing to do, that are willing to do something about it. So we need to pull together as a community 
and be careful not to, to, to allow ourselves to come apart over these, over these individual circumstances such as those I've tried to describe here this evening. This is critical for me because this community has stepped up. I will stand down. But this community has stepped up and made some very important decisions. And we now have to live up to the words we've put in print. And we have to do it together. And so I urge us to, to try to, to move on as it regards this film 13, as important as it is. Let's, let's, let's have the experience and do what we need to do in its regard. In fact, Mr. Saban, I plan to show it to the faculty for convocation. So we're going to do what we need to do. But at the same time, I urge us to keep our eye on the cross. I have a, a couple of things to say. I'm a bit uh, confused about what occurred because I sat in this auditorium. I think it was December. November. November. November where the film was shown and sponsored by, I think, the, I believe, the Max Scholars. And there were other board members in this room, along with students from South Orange Middle School and the middle schools, uh, who had a lot to say at the end of the movie. Um, I don't even know why we're sitting here discussing 13th, when I believe Dr. Ramos, uh, a letter was sent to all the board members encouraging us to come in the community. So we've already had that open community forum. And I think it's a wonderful thing that the teachers wanted to show this film in their classrooms in a small, intimate environment. A film, by the way, that's been nominated for an Oscar. I do believe I made a mistake. Um, for us to be sitting here this evening talking about why the teachers aren't showing it and who decided that it shouldn't be shown when it's already been shown in this auditorium is almost, <laughs> it's sort of like a hijacking to me. Uh, the teachers were doing one thing, and, and the administrator said no. Parents gave permission for their children to see it. The marginalized club is showing it. It seems that they were marginalized. Um, I don't know, uh, but it's, 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 it's disconcerting for me that we're sitting here having a discussion about 13th of, of one of the most important films, I think, uh, uh, that's, that's out now, along with hidden figures. And I know that some children have been going, I know, from South Orange Middle and here, going from other schools to see this important movie. Um, and this is the way that we all learn and, and, and grow. And it's about growth for our children. And um, for administrators to decide that it's not going to be shown in, in either middle school, I think they should have sat down. I don't know if they did. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. At least with the teachers to have a discussion about what is occurring in terms of curriculum, uh, parent uh, involvement. And I know as, as, as a former health teacher, there were always new things coming out constantly that you wanted to keep your children safe and up to date on. So us sitting here discussing what happened with 13 when we've already shown it has already, you know, basically had a stamp of approval. How many board members went to? came to the viewing here. Raise your hands if you saw 13. How many times? Here or anywhere? Yeah. Right? No, but here or anywhere. See, no, let's see who saw it here. Raise your hand if you were here and you saw. We have one, two, three, four. Okay. So, Mr. Wright, thank you, thank you, Mr. Wright. So, uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Dr. Evans, I just want to, so I think there are two separate issues. I just want to jump in and ask for clarification. One, the district, has supported the showing of the film in a variety of fora, right. but I think what Dr. Ramos is talking about is a classroom setting with six and seven graders without their parents and parents who may not have been aware of some of the content of the film, not the message of the film, but the actual content of the film and, and scenes in the film that educators had in our district had concerns about whether or not that was appropriate or in the best interest of the students to see it without their parents being there or knowing what was being shown in a way that the permission slip alone could not portray. I think, as I understand it, Dr. Ramos, teachers are always receiving guidance from, from the district as to what is appropriate in terms of content in the classroom. Um, and a win, a win class or win club is no exception. So that's, the, that's always the effort. And, and 
uh, board member Wright, you are exact. You are. You couldn't be more correct. You're absolutely right. We shouldn't be here talking. About this. And had we known that the teachers had created this uh, opportunity and sent out these permissions lists, had we known that, we would have approached the situation differently. We did not know that. Who didn't know? You didn't know. We in central office. Right, Mr. Ms. Wright, you're not conducting the meeting. Uh, we have rules of that time. We have bylaws as to how. I'm asking Dr. Ramos. He said that he didn't know. Was it all administrators, the department chairman, or? We in central office who received the request did not mm -hmm. know that. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, so that's all I'm saying. And, and so the, the, the decision was made independent of that knowledge. Okay. Had we known, we would have processed it differently. Uh, thank you for answering my question, Dr. Ramos. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what we're 